debuted short filmmaker Dusty Mancinelli in 2011 for his film Pathways on Press Plus One. A year later, and we interviewed Dusty at the Toronto International Film Festival again for his aptly titled short film Broken Heart Syndrome, which is about Russ Kaufman, a man on the verge of dying from a rare disease known as Broken Heart Syndrome, and is desperately trying to find a cure that will mend his broken heart before it is too late. We asked Dusty how close to his own personal relationships BHS really was. Uh, broken heart syndrome is about a man who's on the verge of dying from a broken heart. It's a real life condition called Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, and it's like his, for real, for real, mm -hmm. for real. And it's, so it's his journey to try to find a cure before it's too late. I, I read, a, I came across an article in the BBC with the headline "Scientists Can Now Mend a Broken Heart," and I thought that was a fascinating topic. I looked into it, and sure enough, this condition really exists. Mm -hmm. And our producing partner, Harry Cherniak, his brother Bill, is a doctor, so I was able to uh, work with him and learn more about the condition, and it was pretty fascinating. Was this the result of a bad breakup, or it's just something you read? Uh, well, I mean, the inspiration is something I read, but I've wanted to tell the story about unrequited love for some time, and I found this as a vehicle to tell that story. And I think a lot of people have gone through heart heartache and ha have had their hearts broken, and so I think this is a good opportunity to explore that topic in a way where different people can relate. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it has the caption based on a true story at the beginning, and certain elements are definitely based on my true story. Mm -hmm. Others are from friends and other stories that I've heard along the way. Mm -hmm. The movie has, or the short film has, a, a, a particular tone to it. It's it's funny, but it's also s really sad. Like there's a melancholy. So you don't, you're not necessarily knowing whether to, to you know, to feel empathy or to laugh at the poor guy. Um, t uh, tell me about setting that tone and how you went about that. Yeah, sure. That was challenging. I knew right away I wanted the film to have a, a lightheartedness to it, a quirk, and, and a quirky element, while at the same time trying to create it a somewhat real dark world in which Russ inhibits. And so to create that light and lightness, I think that came across in the production design and in the situations themselves, the way the script was written, along with having the choir kids singing those haunting songs mm -hmm. throughout the, the film, having placing the perspective of the film um, completely in Russ's uh, point of view allowed me to really uh, explore the film through his lens and allow the audience to really go through the condition and experience the symptoms as he experiences them. And I think that allowed you to have fun a little bit with what was happening when he's throwing up on the girl and he's having these delusions and nightmares. It's almost like we're experiencing it. Oh.